guys, we're back, and we left off last time. We had just went over what's in the folders, and we're all good here. So let's see what's next in the plan. All right, we need to go to the character blueprint and set the default skeleton mesh and the animation blueprints that we just created. So let's go back up to blueprints. Remember, we made the module player character, and we made a copy of it. This is our copy, so we're going to edit it. So we'll, we'll to get the mesh over here. Okay. We're going to change the skeleton mesh to ours. Now it sh should load all the materials if you notice. All right. Let's check the legs and make sure. Yep, they have uh, parts in them. Let's go ahead and clear those out. Clear. Clear. Get that out of there. We don't want to have them floating around. Uh, wh while I have did that and thinking about it, let me show something that I have run across that we'll be looking into. I actually run across an article that's talking about this and you can actually um, export these models from Mixamo and cut them up in an editor, editor like uh, Blender or 3D Studio Max, some kind of editor. You can cut them up and then you can import them back in here and it explains how to do this and then we'll have our, our modular player. I'll cover that in a video later, but we'll, we'll definitely want to check into that. For now, we just need uh, some document, some adding to our program, our program, to our base game to make a patch. All right. So now that we have all that done, it says go to your uh, attack animation and create a man montage. All right that was saved. Let's go back to our animation. So we'll go back to my folder. Animations. Uh, my attack was punching. Punching. Where is this punching? I have two punches, which is punch left and punch right. So we'll just pick one and create and a montage. We're going to make the montage. Uh, we'll call that female. Oops, sit montage. Here. All right. Save that. Now we got to go back to the character blueprint. All right. Let's go back to blueprints one we were just in. Let's make sure we open that. And if you look right here in the corner and zoom down, you're going to see it. This is going to be our montage. Right now we have the punch loaded. Let's go ahead and use the female montage. There we go. Compile and save that. And while I'm thinking about it, <laughs> should have did this when I was over there. Let's uh let's peek back over there at the montage that we made. Okay, let's open that up real quick. I watched a video on that, which is it's really important that if you get a chance to go up and uh, see about how setting these up, this is going to be good and good and crucial in your gaming program because you're gonna, this is where you're going to spend a lot of time. But let's go ahead and throw in the punching right. And I put in running. There we go. Got it straightened out. As you can see now, she'll she's going to do a punch. And like I said, there's a video out that on from uh, Unreal. I suggest uh, you go take a look at it because this is going to be some really cool stuff you can do in animation. But for now, this will work. So let's save that off. Alright, now it says to go down into uh, Blueprints and Game Modes, MMO Game, be sure to op open that up, and we're going to replace the uh, default pawn class over here. So let's open that up, and we're going to look for ours. Remember, we renamed that uh, module, so Modular Player Female. We'll compile that, save. 
last thing we need to do is make sure we have physical assets specified. So we need to find uh, the skeleton mesh and create an asset. So let's go back up to our folder or down to mine. And there's the skeleton mesh. We target it, right click, create physical asset. Say OK. And OK. Let's see. Alright. Alright, that's everything that's in there, so that's good. Let's launch it and see. it loading and we are missing some animation somewhere let me just stop that a second uh, uh, back in the modular player uh, female let me just look over here it's in the blueprints where we made a copy of that I had made I had forgot to set the animation so you Right here it says animations use blueprint and you need to use the new blueprint we made, which was base female fit. There we go. So I put in the model but I forgot to put in animation. So let's compile that. Save it. Close it out and let's test it again. Alright, there we go. Much better. So we have our character in. animations. Jumps a little wonky. As you notice, <laughs> you would have to redo some animations on that. Alright, let's see if we can get into combat here. Oh yeah. Doing that punching. Punch, punch. You can do it. Take him. Alright. Uh, you just won't be able to add any of the inventory clothes on. It will glitch out because this is not a modular player. But we have got something built for my patching. So let's go ahead and stop here. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to package this up and then we'll uh, get ready for our, pa our patching system. I'm going to stop here because it's going to take a while to package and then when that gets done uh, we'll do the patching so I'll be back then alright see you in a bit alright that's done uh, we finished doing the uh, package that sent it off to our new folder um, that's give us uh, we now have the character that we've added that's our update to the package and we can look over there let's take a look um, that did say Windows no editor but you can actually change it and set it to uh, your game name. All you have to do is remember that when you go in, go into your launcher, when you edit your launcher program, under launcher data, just open that up, and right here at the bottom, set that first uh, path. It will say Windows No Editor, and just change, and make sure you have your game name there. And of course, you'd edit the complete path. Once you do that, it will find it because you will get an error unless you change that. Alright, now we have everything set up in the folder. What we'll be ready to do is we're going we're gonna to create a patch. So we're going to run through all these steps. Um, I'm going to put that on a separate video. So that way I, I, I can edit it and all. And I think everything is looking pretty good. So we're going to stop it here for now. And then uh, we'll pick up in the next video on creating a patch. Alright guys, uh, thanks a lot and we'll see you then.